Hi. What I want to talk about today is alcohol, fat metabolism in the liver, and how alcohol can affect your fat loss goals. So, without getting too sciencey on it, essentially, fat is metabolized in the liver. When fat is metabolized in the liver, it releases glucose, which your cells use as energy. Most people know this, I'm sorry if that was patronizing. So, when you consume alcohol, what ends up happening is your liver sees this as a toxin. So, what it's going to do is it's then going to stall or stop fat metabolism in the liver in order to attack this poison and clear it out of your system. So, we've all heard that you metabolize an ounce of alcohol every hour to hour and a half. So, what happens is while your liver is metabolizing that alcohol, it stops fat metabolism. So, that one drink is going to cost you about an hour, hour and a half of fat metabolism. Those six drinks will cost you, let's say, nine hours of fat metabolism. That's a significant period of time that your body is not metabolizing fat. On top of this, while you're drinking, generally what people do is they consume more calories. Now, the reason behind this is your body is still using glucose stores as energy. But if your liver has stopped metabolizing fat in order to send glucose to the cells, as your cells use up glucose, your body thinks, crap. I don't have any storage of energy right now. So what you get hungry because you want to eat. Your body tells you you need energy, so you eat. But the problem is, is your liver then doesn't break down that food because it's still dealing with this alcohol and this poison. So now you've taken in a large excess number of calories that normally you wouldn't have taken in. And it's got to go somewhere. So after your liver is done dealing with this poison, now it's got to store all these extra calories that you've eaten. So where's it going to store that as? Well. Once your cells get the glucose that it needs, all those excess calories are going to be stored as fat for the next time your body might need energy. And your body's very smart, so it's thinking, well, if I lost nine hours of energy, I need to store something up in case I need more later. It doesn't calculate into the fact that alcohol was responsible, right? That's something you've done yourself. So let's say you don't even take in excess calories when you drink. All you're doing is having a couple of drinks. Well, on top of the fact that those, those excess calories are alcohol calories, which your body cannot use as an energy source, all right? The second thing is, is your body's not able to break down the fat that you already have in your body to use as an energy source to rebuild muscles from that cardio session or that heavy weightlifting session. So now what you've done is you've killed yourself in the gym to try and make gains, but then you're stalling fat metabolism in your body and you've taken in all these excess calories. Well, they've got to get, all these excess calories have to go somewhere. Right? And that's why you will end up either gaining more fat while drinking or you simply stall out because you're putting more calories in your body than you need to and they got to go somewhere. So for those of you that have serious weight loss goals, you don't have to cut out alcohol entirely. But you do need to do it in moderation. One drink here and there is not going to kill your goals. Six drinks here and there, that's a large amount of time. If you think over the course of a week, if you have 12 drinks, you basically take in one day out of seven that you're not metabolizing fat. If you don't think that's going to affect your weight loss goals, then you got another thing coming. If you have any questions about the science behind this, feel free to email me down below. If not, I hope you guys liked this video and it explained a little bit why alcohol might be affecting your fat loss goals.